So hi there, welcome to this video with me, Mark Anderson, ICT Evangelist. We're going to be exploring the new tool from Microsoft, Microsoft Designer. And as you'll have read in the linked blog post uh, related to this, uh, this is a tool that's come from Microsoft, from the team that brought you uh, design ideas in PowerPoint. Um, it's a fantastic tool. Uh, as you'll see, it's not fully available yet. You can, uh, in the article, get a link to come and try it out for yourself. There's 100 free access links into the tool uh, you can access in the post there. So it's in live preview, but as you'll see, it's a really fully featured product already. Uh, lots of fantastic things you can do inside it. Essentially, Designer, as you can see uh, on the screen happening just over here, um, is a tool that enables you to uh, create your own content and uses AI to generate these different designs to you. Uh, as you'll learn as well uh, from this section here, it's got the DALI um, AI engine built into it so you can generate uh, your own images uh, from scratch using AI to help you with that as well. So lots of great intuitive and interesting features tied into this tool uh, that I'm sure you're going to be just as excited about as I am. So let's just dive in for a second. Let's say I wanted to create a little flyer to promote a session I was doing uh, around learning with EdTech. So my design headline here is going to be uh, learning with EdTech. Uh, it will then pop up a few seconds later with the option to put in a subheading, which I can do. Uh, so um, it's easier than you think. Uh, what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to start uh, in here with uh, an image um, created for me using that DALI engine. So I'm going to go for something like, let's say, uh, chimpanzee um, in a tree, in a tree, uh, using a laptop as uh, pop art, let's say. So uh, already on the right-hand side, you can see it's created some lovely designs for me. It's taken that, you know, you know, I'm talking about technology clearly because you've got some technology related uh, kind of designs coming up here. Some great things already being created for me without even needing to do any kind of design work myself. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, but I'm now going to try and put something sort of funky in as well. So I'm just going to let that go away and be busy uh, doing that for just a moment. And then as you'll see in just a few seconds, it will come up with some uh, lovely images here. So I, I quite like this one just here. So I'm just going to choose that one there. And it'll have a little shuffle over here, generate some, desi generate some designs. And there we go. Boom. I've got some fantastic designs here for me to choose from as well. No, you can start from a blank canvas if you want to. There are loads of design features inside uh, Designer, so you can start things from scratch. But why would you want to uh, when it can do some amazing things for you from the get-go? So I'm going to choose, let's say, this option here, and I'm going to go to Customize Design. Before I do that, though, please note you can change your colours, you can change your size. Let's say you want it to be a social image for Twitter, let's say, where you might choose Landscape. You can choose Portrait for like an Instagram story if you want to so forth and so on. I'm going to go for a square option and I'm just going to go to customize my design now. It drops the image in there and actually I don't really need to do much more than that. It's provided me with some more options through the Copilot over here. You'll note some of them have got little um, play icons. That means that when you've, you're done with your design uh, on your download section here, yes you can do a PNG but you can also, uh, maybe not with this particular one, you might need to change it over to uh, this design just here. There we go. Uh, then you can actually down, download that as an MP4 if you want to. Um, but within here, we've got loads of different options to sort of take the design further. So you've got lots of control over what actually appears on your design um, rather than just what they just give you, albeit what they just give you is often good enough. Uh, so let's have a little look at what we've got available to us. So first thing we'll do is look at what we can do when we actually choose an item. So if we choose an item, select it here. You can remove the background on things. You can crop it add some effects, change the position, uh, you can increase or reduce the opacity on it, you know, all these sorts of things. You can replace it with a different image if you want to. Uh, when you're on your text, you can play around with that as well. So you can change the font, italicize it, strike throughs, change the position, you know, back front, uh, and backwards, all these sorts of things, font size, actual font choice, color. And if you choose colors as well, <clears throat> it's not just choosing a different color. Uh, let's say I want to sort of color pick a design color from the images here in this pop art image. So I can just go to the plus icon just here and uh, I can then use the color picker and I can just choose a color that then links directly to it. So it'll just then choose uh, the color <clears throat> which is linked into this particular image. 
loads of great things going on. I can add even more into this if I want to. <clears throat> I can uh, go and look at some templates if I want to. I can upload some additional media of my own. Let's say I wanted to put like an ICT Avenger logo in there. Uh, I could do that super easily. Uh, in the visuals section, we've got other visuals and recommended for this design. So it, it knows from what we typed, um, what we, we might want to use. It's got some filled shapes and organic shapes and other illustrations and, and uh, sort of suggested items to put in as well. We can add more text. Uh, we've got some layouts for text and things as well. Uh, and then we've got our styles and I like the styles because not only can you just click on a style and it'll just uh, tweak everything for you uh, based upon the different style that you've chosen there and with the fonts and the colors and so forth and so on. And there are quite a few to choose from as you can see. And we can also go in and add our own brand kit. So in here, let's say if you've got a heading, subheading and body text style that you use within your school or within your classes or uh, within your business even, uh, you can add all those things in. You can also add in your brand colors uh, and so forth and so on. So that's super easy to add in. Um, and then when you're finished, like I say, it's just a, a simple case of then just going to the download option here. You can post straight to social media and uh, you can just choose post your design on from there. You've got a different variety of formats, uh, PDF, JPEG, PNG, you can send it as an animated GIF, an MP4, uh, so forth and so on. Choose the option you want, um, and then you can download that straight to your device. But let's say you, you're making this on your laptop, your Chromebook, your MacBook, whatever it is you've got, um, but you actually want to, want to post it onto um, social media using your phone, uh, then simply go send to phone, and it'll generate a QR code, um, and then you just scan that QR code, and you can download that design straight to your phone from that QR code and post it to your social media platform uh, as you would normally do. Particularly useful for those of you that might be thinking about using Instagram, uh, so forth and so on. Throughout the templates and things as well, you'll see um, suggested templates for things that are happening coming up on different days. So um, the day this has been released, December 18th, and which for me making this is tomorrow. And we've got Ugly Sweater Day, we've got Winter Solstice on the 21st, Christmas, because I'm New Year's Eve, uh, all, all, all sorts of things coming up here. And there's my QR code ready to scan. You've got the URL there, you can copy and paste it elsewhere as well if you want to. So that's how you make it, how you share it, uh, so forth and so on. There's more to designer than that, though if you go up to the waffle in the top left hand corner, uh, you can see previous designs you've made. And uh, if you go to um, any of those, uh, here's a similar one that I did before, you'll notice a slight, it's a slightly different uh, design here with the uh, chimpanzee in the tree on the laptop. Um, and that's one of the nice things as well, when you're making these designs, uh, so let's just go to uh, here and say uh, chimpanzee in a tree uh, using a laptop as, um, um, let's just say, uh, impressionist, an impressionist painting, pop it in like so and it'll do whatever you've asked it to do. But if you don't like the designs that it comes up with, then you can just click into the box here um, and uh, and choose, and, and it'll produce some more images for you. If you don't like it being as an impressionist, then you can maybe choose, uh, let's just go in there as, uh, as pop art again. And we should see when it finishes uh, that it will uh, make that uh, design different uh, to the one that we'd seen previously. So it's just doing that. I see we've got some different designs now. It's a different chimpanzee using a laptop in a different way, so forth and so on. So yeah, really, really lovely, super simple to use, um, some fantastic features. Just gonna dive into the template section up here for a moment, just going to close that down for a second. I'm gonna go into the template section up here. And here you've got more designs that you can sort of uh, tap into and uh, what have you. Uh, let's say I want to do a, um, a bake sale, let's say, and there we go, we've got some sale options in here. Let's say there are many, many templates, and with the fact that you've got the AI engine in there to help you design any sort of photograph or image uh, or design a layout and uh, everything else that you want, it makes it a super flexible tool to make making designs for your classroom, for your posters in your classroom, for your resources, for all sorts of things. Um, super, super easy, super quick. And of course you can always get back to them uh, and work on them and refine them 
duplicate them, copy them, use that sort of template. You've got the brand kit in there as well. There's lots to like about this new tool, Microsoft Designer, which is why it's on the Advent calendar today. Hope you enjoy using it. Don't forget to subscribe at the bottom.